Hi everybody. Okay, so here is the completed um, outer album that I am making for Bikas. This is her nickname. Uh, make sure you check my other blogs and my YouTube channel for you to see part one and part two of this album. This is part three. As I told you in the um, part one and part two, uh, this is not a chipboard album. This is an MDF album. It's made of wood, but it would work the same if you're making a chipboard album. So this is a real nice tutorial for you. I've used uh, Webster's pages on this album, as well as some um, Prima papers, older ones. And um, I always go with what the customer asked me. You know, usually people that will ask me for to make an album or something, it's because they like my style. But I ask them, what color uh, do you want? Do you have a preference uh, for papers, for collections? And the only request she asked me was that um, it would match, it would go, it would coordinate with the, the, her daughter's bedroom. And she says it was a green lettuce and pink. So there you go. We got green lettuce and pink. Let me show you the result. This is the first letter. And as I told you in the other uh, videos, uh, this is just the first part of it. This is just uh, covering each letter with paper. Uh, usually people will cover the whole letter or the whole pages of the chipboards um, with the papers, with one sheet only. I like to um, do like a patchwork quilt kind of thing. I cut pieces and I like to mix and match. And this is just the first this is just the first uh, stage of the album. After I do all this if you go and look at the first, the part one in part two, you'll see all the other steps I took before I covered it with paper after I do all this then comes the fun part that's where I'm going to be adding in the embellishments and uh, the mats and other fun things see right there those are two different papers that I have uh, put together right here I have the background green paper and then I've added the the flowers the cutout flowers and this is the last letter right there Sometimes you will see like right here I've added there's a cut right there because I've added two different strips of paper but it will be covered up. I will add trims and laces and ribbons and things and all that will be covered up. I like to finish my albums uh, in a way that it all looks like one thing. You know it's um, it's not paper and album it's just one album. The paper becomes one with the album as well as the embellishments. And my albums do not fall apart. They, the embellishments that I put there stay there. The papers that I glue down stay there. Um, I want to make you a treasure that you will keep for a long, long time. Of course, you have to take care of it too. You can't get it wet. Dirty hands are not the ideal hands to touch one of these albums, and but it's it's a treasure to keep. And of course, you can once you put your pictures there, you can rotate them. You can use um, non-permanent adhesive and uh, rotate the pictures as your child grows. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you check out the other the other episodes so you can see how we got here. And make sure you come by my blogs, Creating Treasures, blogspot.com, and the Thrifty Scrapper, blogspot.com. Sign up, follow me, subscribe via email if you prefer, so that you make sure that you're following all the steps and see what, I, what we're going to do next. Thank you for stopping by.